How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video we're going to be going over the Prestige Squad as well as unlocking another Prestige player. So it's going to be number 9 that we have unlocked. As you can see here we have a bunch of Prestige players except for Shortstop. I'll go ahead and hide the face cam so we can take a better look at the squad. I've obviously used a lot of these cards throughout the year. But I don't know if I would use the full prestige team in ranked seasons right away. I'd probably want to try some of these guys out in viewer game to see the differences uh, between their other card and the prestige version. We're only a few hits away from prestiging Eric Davis though. We need about five hits, three runs scored. I'm going to be working on using Kerry Wood and Oral Hershiser in this video. It was unfortunate that I lined out with Eric Davis to start it off. We also give up a home run with Kerry Wood on a pitch up above the zone, but that was a great hit from this opponent. Now we have Jackie Robinson up, top of the second inning with two outs, and that's a splitter over the middle of the plate. One swing of the bat, we take the lead there, two to one. With two outs, we had uh, Robin Yount coming up next and the pitcher spot, so that was a big hit. Now we have George Brett up, and George Brett has a great swing. I've always liked using this card. I want to try and get him back into the lineup somehow. But he launches a double the other way to start off the top of the fourth inning. And that's going to give us a pretty good chance here. We have the bases loaded. Here with Mickey Mantle. Hit a grand slam with two outs in the top of the fourth inning. Three and one count. I'm selling out for a fastball in that situation. Just trying to put a good swing on it. Uh, the reason why I had Mickey Mantle up in that situation was because he intentionally walked Robin Yount. I figured I would go to Mickey as my pinch hitter. Because I need these other guys in the outfield to be able to use them, get more at-bats with them. I already have Prestige Mickey, but I am still trying to earn those runs scored with the other players. There, Eric Davis hits a solo shot, a slider up in the zone. So that's a nice swing right there. Here, Robin Yount smacks one up the middle. I don't even know how that's a base hit, but we are Italian. Another run scored with Biggio. I'm really excited to get some of these Prestige cards while this event is still going on because then we can use them in ranked seasons for the remainder of the year when we want to. I mean, we'll have a variety of choices. We'll also have some prestige cards just in case you need to have them for that big collection. Uh, we talked about that in a couple videos. You guys talked about that in the comments section as well. So I wanted to just talk a little bit about these prestige cards, the best way to grind them. Uh, if I needed RBIs and runs scored with Eric Davis, then he wouldn't be in the starting lineup. He would be on the bench as the pinch runner as the bench bat uh, that we would use in, in Mickey Mantle's place. So to kind of get back on track with this video, uh, we're facing Al Leiter here. I have a righty heavy lineup to begin with. My ranked seasons lineup has a, a few more lefties in it. Yeah, I think I'm using about three or four lefties in my ranked seasons lineup and then of course a couple switch hitters. But uh, facing Al Leiter with this event lineup that's very righty heavy, certainly gives me a little bit of an advantage so we end up putting up a six spot on him real quick here in the first inning i'm going to leave Kerry wood in to face him he throws a fastball over the middle at this point he has no uh, stamina or confidence he ends up quitting out after this uh after this play after his left fielder misses the ball out there he decided to quit out we'll go ahead and hop in to another game i would have loved to get one more at bat there with eric davis before he quit but it is what it is anyway we have Biggio up, George Brett on first, and this is going to be an example of some interesting base running, some elite base running, I will say, as uh, I'm trying to send the runner to second base, or at least back to second. George Brett goes back to third. I have no idea what he's doing, but uh, we end up scoring the run somehow on that play, but I tried to send him back. George Brett just ran back to third base, so uh, anyway, we were able to Score the run and then also score a couple more here with a two-run shot from Robin Yount. We go up 3 nothing. We also had uh, the pitcher spot up next with two downs, so that was a big hit. Could have easily just walked the pitcher, but he ended up scoring three runs in his half of the inning to tie the game up. Eric Davis goes deep. We only need a couple more hits, uh, probably about three more hits now at this point. We scored the runs with him. Now we just need to tally the base knock. So this is big right here. I mean, the seeing eye single up the middle each and every hit is important because the quicker i get this card the quicker i can take him out of the lineup and put somebody else in to play in this event and try and prestige that card so that that will certainly help i mean uh, every time we get out it's a wasted opportunity it's a wasted at bat not only for that player but also for the other players that i could be using 
to gain prestige stats as well. So I, I like to keep those things in mind. I'm trying to, you know, have every opportunity to get some stats. Some position players, I'm not really looking to prestige. So that's why I'm still using Jackie Robinson, Craig Biggio, a few guys that I just want to try and get some reps with because I know I'm going to eventually use those guys more and more in ranked seasons. Anyway, George Brett is going deep. I think that that card is really good. I'm excited to use him a little bit more. I'm trying to get more right-handed batters into my lineup so that way I can actually use that George Brett at third base in ranked seasons. He plays really well. He's got great contact. I just have too many lefties in my lineup right now. I might even use him at first base depending on how prestige Jim Tomei does. But just take a look at this. I mean, 122 contact on the non-prestige George Brett. And that's a home run. I mean, a cutter inside, that's almost a no-doubter. It's also a ship it home run, I want to say. It just seems like you're able to hit a lot more home runs when your PCI is not even on the ball at ship it. Also at other fields that have a little bit larger dimensions, but a, a really high elevation where the ball just seems to carry tremendously, like at Coors Field, Laughing Mountain, fields like that that I've noticed anyway. So uh, anyway, another base knock for Eric Davis. That's solid, ripping it through the right side there, even on a little bit of a late swing. We're trying to take advantage. We're trying to, to go deep here, tally them all home with a grand slam from Larry Walker. That's amazing. I'm trying to tally those RBIs. We're trying to also expand the lead a little bit as we go deep here with Gary Sheffield. Only a few more extra base hits, honestly a few more hits in general, and I should be able to get that prestige Gary Sheffield. I might even use him at third base to try and help me get more uh, right-handed batters into the lineup, but I'm using switch hitting Chipper Jones right now. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to balance out my lineup. I'm trying to see, you know, with the cards coming out soon, who's going to be released and where are they going to go if they fit on the squad. So anyway, Eric Davis hits a solo shot at Coors Field. That last opponent ended up quitting out. He had like an all bronze team trying to grind out some missions. Now we have George Brett coming up after a double from Larry Walker. Another extra base hit from him. And this one is just a, a laser beam right to the right fielder. 123 contact from George Brett. My mistake. I said 122 earlier. But, I mean, that is absolutely amazing. Tony Gwynn has similar stats as him. And that's who I'm trying to prestige as well once we get Eric Davis. We might use Tony Gwynn out there. We might use Andre Dawson. Don't really know. We're, we have a couple guys. Maybe Al Kaline. But Gary Sheffield hits another homer. George Brett is also going deep. And, honestly, this George Brett card... Uh, was one of my favorite cards to use around this time last year. So I need to figure out a way to put him back in the lineup. I know he would do really well for me and generate a lot of runs in ranked seasons. The one game I did use him, he went 3 for 4, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I actually matched up with this same guy again. I played this guy a couple days ago in this same exact event. And everything here he matched up once again. I think I beat him by 10 runs in the first one. And now we end up going deep with Jackie Robinson for a solo shot. But this one's a much lower scoring game. I mean, I was still able to pitch pretty effectively with Oral Hershiser. There we got lucky that Biggio even threw the ball. I have no idea what he was doing. But we only gave up one hit in this game so far. We're trying to close it out with a one nothing lead. I just didn't hit the ball myself. But we were able to strike out, I think, nine guys so far. We're going for ten punch outs in this one. I think that was either ten or eleven. We might be able to get... 12 Ks out of 18 outs if we get this one. I'm not exactly sure. The announcer, he might actually say it as well. But uh, we should be able to also prestige Eric Davis after this game. I think that that was the last hit that we needed. I'm almost, I'm almost sure of it. it. We only needed like one or two more. I've just been waiting to get that card after the game. And there he is. Prestige Eric Davis, 99 speed. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the standings in the event. This is my record. I have also quit out of a few games, but all in all, a pretty solid event. Prestige grinding these these players and these stats. We have about uh, 16 more innings, 55 innings with Kerry Wood and Oral Hershiser. Uh, we need a few more hits with Prestige Walker as well as uh, uh, Gary Sheffield. We need to get this Prestige Gary Sheffield pretty soon. I did also have some uh, free packs to open. I'll fast forward through some of these packs and only include... The good pulls. We will have a couple diamonds to go through here. Here's a third baseman. Live series. This is le looking like Jose Ramirez. I've already pulled Jose Ramirez a couple times this year. He has the same type of animation as Cattell Marte, Francisco Lindor, 
and all those all those types of guys that are uh, just standing there with their hand on their hat. Here we got a National League right fielder, and this is looking like Cody Bellinger's animation. I'm hoping that it's Cody Bellinger anyway. There's a couple uh, left left-handed right fielders that are in the National League. Here's Christian Yelich. So that's a solid 11,000 to 13,000 stubs right there. I will certainly take that. Now we have another bomb pack, back-to-back -back diamonds in the bomb packs. So two in a row, I'll certainly take it. Another National League right fielder. We might have ourselves another Christian Yelich. This one might be Bellinger. It's neither of those, and it's Bryce Harper. So I'll take that. That's about 20, 23, 24,000 stubs after tax, give or take a few. Uh, with my math being a little off there. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.